Good morning everyone, welcome to today's video. If you guys are new here, my name is Hunter and it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm doing something I have never done before and I'm very excited about it. So, let me just explain what I'm doing. I am going to be doing a 24 hour reading challenge. I saw someone on TikTok do this where they basically just read for 24 hours straight and I was like that sounds like a really good idea. Um, if I can find the TikTok I will link it down below for you guys to check it out but I thought that was a really good idea but the twist for me is that <sighs> is that I have never pulled an all-nighter before and that's basically what I'm gonna be doing today is pulling an all-nighter. It is currently, it's currently 8.27 so I'm going to start my challenge at 9 o'clock. So from 9 o'clock today on May 12th until 9 o'clock a.m. on May the 13th, I am gonna be awake and reading and I'm very excited because I am always looking for an excuse to sit around and do nothing but read and I always end up, hold on. Staying up all night is gonna is going well. We're in the beginning. Anyway, I am always looking for excuses to just read and sometimes I feel like I need to be doing something else because I need to be like working, doing productive things and reading is not necessarily the most productive thing I could be doing. So today it is like really cloudy and rainy and it's like the perfect day to sit around and just read all day. So I'm very excited. I have a couple books checked out from the library that I'm hoping to get through and I can't stop yawning. How many times am I gonna yawn in this video? Also, how many cups of coffee are gonna be consumed? We'll see, I'll keep a count, I'll keep count. But I, like I said, I'm very excited to do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go downstairs and make some coffee. And then I'm going to eat some breakfast, prep for the day. Probably have a quad shot, four, shop, four shots of espresso for breakfast. Just kidding, I'm gonna have some oatmeal. I'm gonna do all that, get myself ready for the day so that when nine o'clock comes, I can just sit down and start reading. I'm very excited. Bring you guys along with me on this journey. Let's go downstairs now. I turn the flashlight on on my phone so you can see me make coffee. Let's just pull out this little bit. Double espresso. And then we'll want two of those. My favorite mug says Joy. Okay, the first cup of coffee has been consumed. So now we read. Hello, we are one hour into this 24 hour challenge. I am currently at 35% of the book. I was at about 28 whenever I started. It said that there were five hours and 21 minutes left in the book whenever I started and now it says four hours and 26 minutes. So we're definitely making some progress. I have just made a second cup of coffee. I'm about to put some ice on this and make it all yummy and then I will get back to the reading. But wanted to give you an update. I woke up earlier than normal. I usually wake up at like 9, 9.30 and it's just now 10 o'clock so I usually am waking up a lot later than I do so I've been really tired this morning but hopefully my I will be less tired I'm gonna go upstairs and sit in my bed but not lay down and open the blinds because normally that helps it's a lot brighter upstairs because there are the windows are like in a smaller space so I'm gonna go upstairs and hopefully that'll wake me up a little bit along with the coffee and hopefully we'll make some headway on this book okay I'm upstairs I brought some chips upstairs so when I get hungry I don't have to go back downstairs. We have the book ready to go. Coffee looks beautiful and I also filled up a water bottle. So open the windows. I'm just glad it's not super pretty outside because then I don't feel bad about not being outside. Back to reading. So I'm three hours in. It is almost noon. The book has two hours and 21 minutes left, which is right on track for where I started with five hours and 21 minutes. So it's been three hours. That makes sense. So given that we're kind of on track, I'll probably be finished with the first book by around two o'clock. Then I'll move on to the next one. I had a pack of chips and I finished my coffee and I have started on my water bottle. I feel much more awake now just because I've like been getting up, moving around. I think once I'm finished with this book, I'm going to give myself a five minute break to browse so social media, check my emails, and I have a video go live at two o'clock. So I'll want to like play that and leave a comment on it for people to respond to. So that's what's happening. I'm on chapter 29 of this book. There are 48 chapters. So I am 63% of the way there and it's getting really good. I turned off. It's called When You See Me by Lisa Gardner. Very good. I'm a fan so far. It is a book series, but obviously these can all be read as standalone novels. So it's like the last book in the series, but so far it's really, really good. And 
I am very anxious to find out what happens. We go back to the reading now. Another update, because I'm sure you care so much, but I guess that's why you're watching this video. Um, it is currently 1.19 p.m. and there are 58 minutes left in the book, so I should be finished around 2.17, somewhere around there with this book, and I can't wait to find out what happens. I actually also have gotten inside of my bed because this blanket wasn't doing it for me. So, yay! Getting there with the first book. I finished the first book of the day. It is, let me see what time it is. It is now 2.20. So now we need to move on to the next book, but I probably need to eat some lunch. So let me decide what I want to read first. <laughs> this one. I think this one is due sooner and Colleen Hoover is usually super quick to get through. Um, it says five hours and 17 minutes, which means it's probably going to take me like six hours. So by 7 p.m. I should be done with this one. I don't even know what this book is about. How many chapters are there? There are 39 in an epilogue, so 40. I don't even know what this book is about. So let's take a look. Tay Collins meets airline pilot Miles Archer. She doesn't think it's love at first sight. They wouldn't go so far as to consider themselves friends. The only thing Tay and Miles have in common is an undeniable mutual attraction. Once their desires are out in the open, they realize that they have the perfect setup. I love Colleen Hoover, so we'll read this. I'm gonna make a sandwich and then read. I think I'm gonna change my location as well. Ooh, the kitchen. decided to read in my office and the book that I'm reading so far, I am 14% of the way through it, but I really like it so far. Colleen Hoover just does it every time. I think this is called Ugly Love. Is that what it was? I showed you earlier, but I'm a fan. It's 317, so it's been like six hours. I'm only on hour six. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to update you on, so I'm just gonna go back to reading now. Bye. So I decided that my bed is a lot more comfortable than the office. So here I am. I dropped my phone. Of course I did. Back in my bed because I'm not gonna be sleeping in it tonight, so might as well enjoy it while I can. Because if I get in it at bedtime, absolutely gonna fall asleep. So bye. Another update, I swear this video is just me telling you where I'm at in the book, but I am currently, it's 5.38 p.m. I have an hour and 53 minutes left of book number two, and it's like the quickest read ever, and I wouldn't want to put this down if I had to, so I'm glad I don't. I'm almost done with book two and we're not even 12 hours in. This all-nighter is gonna be rough. too dramatic, but Colleen Hoover does it again. I'll read everything that woman writes. I like get really emotionally attached to the characters and I don't want the book to end because I just want to know more about the life of the characters and I'm thankful for the epilogue that gives me like a little bit more, but I just... It's been 11 hours, two books down, 13 more to go. I seriously don't know how I'm supposed to stay up all night. Like I really have no idea how I'm gonna do it. Just listening to an audiobook now. So it is now 10 48 p.m. I am starting to feel a little tired, but not tired enough to like go to sleep right now. I started an audiobook because my eyes were getting tired and I kind of just wanted to do something else with my eyeballs. So I started doing something on my iPad, like just drawing stuff, and I downloaded a couple of books from the library. So I'm pulling it up now. I'm listening to it on 2x speed because anything else is way too slow for me, but I am listening to I Know You Remember by Jennifer. For Donaldson. I started a different book, but then I was having a hard time following it, so I canceled it or I stopped listening to it. And I'm 43% of the way through this, and at 2x speed, it's like five minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, five hours and 30 seconds left. So we're gonna go with like half of that. It's like two minute, two hours and 45 minutes left, which isn't that bad, which means it'll be like almost one o'clock. I keep saying this, but I have no idea how I'm gonna make it through the night because I've never pulled an all nighter before. See how this goes. I'll probably just end up listening to a bunch of audiobooks. Okay, it is now 12:51 p.m. I just showered, but I had AirPods in, so I was listening to it. But like, shower, obviously I didn't wash my hair, so it's a called shower cap. That's what it's called. And I decided while I'm listening to this, I am gonna do something productive. So I brought our laundry downstairs. So I'm gonna do the laundry 
And then I have another audiobook to listen to, so I might listen to that, but I also have some books already downloaded on my Kindle that I think I want to read after this. So we'll see. And if I get through that one, I'll move on to another audiobook, but I doubt that I'll get through a fourth book. So I do have like an hour left. Yeah, it says an hour and 42 minutes. So it's like an hour left of the audiobook because I'm listening it on two times speed. So we'll see how this goes. I am really starting to get tired now. So we'll see. I'm trying to hold off on having coffee for as long as possible, but I'm definitely tired. So I can't sit still for too long and I definitely can't lay down. So I'm going to have to stay on my feet. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing the laundry. Anyway, back to listening and let's go ahead and do the laundry. So book number three is finished. Um, it is now 1.44 a.m. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still have eight hours to go, but we're getting there. So I can probably finish one more book while I'm doing this. But that was book number 50 for the year, which is crazy. I can't believe I've already read halfway through my goal. So that's good. I am very tired now. I am obviously more tired than I was before. I sometimes stay up this late reading, but I don't always do it. I'm beginning to think this was a bad idea. <laughs> I thought this would be a cool video, so I hope that you guys appreciate what I'm doing for content because I'm tired. But let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm trying to decide what to read next. Okay, let's see. So I have one more audiobook, which is A Piece of My Heart by Mary Higgins Clark, or I can try to read something on my Kindle. So let's see what we have here. I do also have a couple of books that I could like, like physical books that I could read, but see what we've got here. No, I don't want to open that. I started the dishwasher also, and it is literally so loud. I started them both. They're both very loud. I'm not sure if you can hear them. I know what I want to read. I have the third Bridgerton book. That's what I'm going to read. I'm going to read third Bridgerton book. So I just need to find it because for some reason it's not on here. Oh, uh, okay. An offer from a gentleman. This is what I'm reading. That's it. That's that's all I need to tell you is that I'm reading third Bridgerton book. I forgot I had it on my Kindle and I'm very excited to read it. So yay, I'm excited. Okay, let me see. How long does it say it's going to take me to read it? I have already read the first 6% of the book, but I don't remember it. So I'm going to start it over. Let me see about this book. Okay, it says eight hours and 18 minutes. So basically the rest of the evening, the rest of my day here. So let's just go ahead and get started. I finally cave and I'm making a cup of coffee, but it's just a double espresso. So that should be fine. But yeah, there's the coffee. Can't wait to drink it. And I also need a snack. Coffee did its job for like a second. Now I feel like if I were to turn off the lights and close my eyes, I would be passed out in no time, but I don't want to have another cup of coffee. Although it was very delicious. I'm so tired. That's gonna be this whole video. Hi friends. It is now 4.15 in the morning. I'm so tired that I'm like slurring my words. And also I feel like my head weighs a million pounds. How do people do this while well, studying? I mean like, yes, I'm retaining what I'm reading right now. And like, I'm enjoying the book, but how do people do this while well, studying in college? I just don't understand. People are crazy. I have decided I absolutely not wait another minute. I need to go to bed. It's 4.35. I can't do it anymore. I'm calling it quits. I'm going to bed and I'll finish this video tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning. I'm concluding my video here. I want to let you know, obviously I did not make it the full 24 hours. I said I was going upstairs at like 5.45 or 4.45 to get in the bed. I ended up staying awake for like another half hour reading, but like I literally like was going cross-eyed trying to read because my eyes were so tired and I decided that I wanted to retain and enjoy the book. So I just decided to call it quits. I thought I could do it. I tried so hard. It's why it was called a challenge. Clearly I failed it, but that's okay because I still got Got three and a half books read, which is crazy. And I'm probably gonna finish the other one today anyway. And given that I went to sleep at 5.15 a.m., I only slept until like 11, which isn't that bad considering when I go to bed at 11 o'clock, sometimes I sleep until 11 a.m. So I don't feel like that was that bad. So I mean, really not bad at all. I'm proud of myself for trying. I just couldn't do it anymore. I was so tired. I literally could not do it anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me torture myself <laughs> trying to read a book, uh, read books. Uh, I think three and a half books in 24 hours is not bad especially considering I did a couple of other things while I was at it like I made breakfast and I took a break to look at my phone for a minute I also started like three books and decided I didn't want to read those so I wasted like an hour doing that <laughs> so really not bad at all so if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up because this was a hard video for me and while I think I enjoyed it it was still really hard for me so yeah I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up can we let this video be the one that goes viral yeah that's all I have for today's video I love you guys Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.